In this video, I'm going to go into a brief yet in-depth analysis of the hooded figure in the Ruby Volume 6 intro animation and explain who this person most likely is. This certainly is a hot topic, and some people believe that there is actually two different hooded figures. The first one we see walking through the crowded street, and the second figure we see inside the building. Before we go into any further analysis, let's first meet on the common ground that this is actually the same person in both clips. Both have the exact same attire and the same bandaged left hand. The only way this could possibly be two different people is if they were somehow coincidentally able to look the exact same. In other words, it would be near impossible, or it would be the use of an illusion or mirroring type semblance. However, with the current proof that we have at the moment, it's going to be a complete shot in the dark to go and say that this is just someone using their semblance. There's really no evidence to support that. With the current evidence, the most reasonable assumption is that they are the same person. So who is that person then? Well, first of all, a hooded figure, a bandaged left hand, the same side that Cinder has a grim arm on, quite coincidental. The hooded figure's hair also looks, from what we can see, to be just like Cinder's bangs. We can see it's the same color being black, and the haircut is pretty much the same. We can also take it a step further, though, in the second clip. We can see that the figure is literally using Cinder's created sword, the same sword that she used in Volume 5 during the Haven fights. We can take it even further, though. Watch the fighting style of the person in the intro. Lots of spinning and hopping around. Quite high on mobility and fancy attacks, and high on aggression. Now, if we go back to the Cinder vs. Raven fight in Downfall, it's quite evident that this is a very similar fighting style, if not the exact same. At least regarding the sword play specifically. Obviously, we're not going to comment on the Grim and Maiden powers, as we don't see either of those being used in the Volume 6 trailer. So with that evidence, I believe it's highly likely that the hooded figure is Cinder, and from this point on in the video, I will probably be referring to the hooded figure as Cinder. However, before we go any further really, let's look at the other popular option, that option being that the hooded figure is Neo. Now while I love Neo and I want her to come back, I can't deny the hooded figure displays many more traits of being Cinder than Neo, even if Neo somehow disguised herself as a disguise that looks just like Cinder, which, by the way, would be highly unlikely because Neo can't do that. Anytime we've seen her use her semblance, she was able to change her outfit and make illusions here and there that would deceive the enemy into thinking she's places where she isn't. What we haven't seen her do with her semblance is literally change her entire appearance into somebody else. So either they would retcon Neo's semblance or buff it, but they would need a pretty good explanation for that. In other words, it being Neo is highly unlikely. It is much more likely for this person to be Cinder. And I can even uh, point out some more evidence for that as well. Let's again look at the fighting style. The fighting style that we see the Cinder character use is exactly like Cinder's fighting style. It's high on aggression. It's not at all like Neo's fighting style, which relies a lot on being defensive, relies a lot on counters and parries and throws. Totally different from the aggressive fighting style that Cinder uses. Now, that's not to say that Neo won't be coming back in Volume 6, because there are multiple hints in the trailer that Neo will be coming back. For example, in the first clip of Cinder, we see many characters holding umbrellas on the screen, yet Cinder isn't, which is kind of an interesting little uh, thing to take note of. Also, of course, the hat that Roman used to wear is seen flying by her, so obviously, that's quite a little clue there Neo could be coming back. And interestingly enough, the hat is slashed on screen, and Cinder takes a combat-ready position. So what's up with that? I guess we'll find out, of course. Perhaps she'll fight Neo, but that's a topic for another video. You see, I can go into great deal detail about Neo's potential uh, involvement in Volume 6, but again, that's a topic for another video. I'd like to keep this one specifically about the hooded figure, and I'll be working on a follow-up video to this one regarding the potential involvement with Neo and Cinder in the show. Perhaps they'll have a fight, perhaps they'll work together, etc, etc. There's a lot to talk about with that. So that video will be coming up very soon. Be sure you are subscribed and have notifications on so you can be aware of when that content comes out. And if you enjoyed this content, consider supporting my work over on Patreon. Thanks again, and I will catch you in the next one.